Šonedēļ sporta pasaules svinēja UEFA Čempionu līgas jaunās sezonas sākumu, kurai nopietni gatavojās ne tikai labākie futbolisti, bet arī vadošie sporta apģērbu un apau ražotāji. Šovasar sportcenus.com paviesojās Adidas ofisā Vācijā, lai apskatītu izpēc centru, kurā tika veidot jauni produkti un iepazītos ar Adidas filozofiju. Īpaši organizētās mēdīju dienās Adidas uzrunā žurnālistus no visas pasaules un, kā burkānu, piedāvā iespēju klātienē redzēt arī pasaules sporta slavenības. Interesantākā Adidas mītē neapšaubām ir pētījuma laboratorija, kurā cilvēki ķermeņi sadarība ar apaviem un apģērbiem tiek pētīti neticami daudz veidos. Tā piemēram lūk, jauneiklis, kura misija ir neskaitāmas reizes veikt sprinta skrējienu, lai to varētu fiksēt ar dārgu jo dārgu videoaparatūru, par kuru Adidas apskaustu jebkuras telekompānijas pārstāvju pasaulē. Tad Adidas laboranti, kur gan apkārt nestaigā baltos halātos, ķeras pie rezultātu analīzes un par tiem pastāstu arī mums. Centāmies rādīt gudras sejas, tomēr pietiekami lieldaļu informācijas ieliku plaukuņā kaut kāda raķiža zinātne. Daudz dažādi mērījumi, daudz dažādas līknes un šķiet Adidas vīri paši ļoti labi saprot, ko dara. Lūk pētījums, kuru sapratu. Vīri pēta, kā skrējiena laikā sadalās spēks cilvēka pēdā, lai izstrādātu piemērotākos apavus, kas maksimizē komfortu un minimizē savainojumu iespējas. Tā, piemēram, skriešanai vienas apavu līnijas ietveros izstrādāt trīs modeļi, ko aptuveni varētu sadalīt grupās iesācējiem, sportistiem un profesionāliem skrējējiem. Izrādās. Iesācējs, kinot vairāk svaru piešķirt pēdas vidusdaļai, savukārt profesionāļi jau skrien gan drīz uz pirksgaliem. Tādēļ apau vajadzība krasi atšķiras. Lūk, skaidro Adidas eksperts. Uh, so with the natural running movement, what we're doing is we're putting people in a better running posture. And part of that means that you typically will run lighter on your feet, which means you don't land heavy on the heel. Uh, but we have to do it in a gradual way because most runners aren't used to that. And that's why we have the three shoes, sort of a progression where they can start by gradually moving more and more to the midfoot and that more upright natural running form. Uh, this is the motion, the first uh, shoe in the line. And as you'll see, we've got pressure points identified in color in how the, the foot would strike. Usually a little bit more on the heel, a lot more on the midfoot and some on the toe in this upper level of the line. Next we turn to the gazelle and now you'll notice the color difference. We have less landing on the heel, more landing on the midfoot and more on the toe. This is the middle of the range. And then finally we move to the adapt. And this product would be operating almost fully on the midfoot and toe. Uh, so again, we have a range, a progression in how the person can train their lower legs to withstand greater and greater training. Virzoties tālāk laboratorijā, iepazīsimies ar vizuāli interesantāko pētījumu punktu. Šoreiz laboratorijas trusīšu lomā ir kāda dāma un viņas schematisks atālojums uz ekrāna. Šeit gudrie vācieši pēta, kā spēki mīļo darbojas visi ķermeņi garumā, lai atkal un atkal pielāgotu apavu dizaini. Skaidrs, ka visas šīs neanses ir svarīgas augstu sasniegumu sportā, bet centos noskaidrot, vai man, esot divreiz smagākam par šo dāmu un pilnīgi noteikti skrienot drusku izlāk, ir cerības arī uz savas ādas izjust Adidas laboratorijas veikto pētījumu pozitīvos rezultātus. Adidas eksperts skaidro, ka cerības man ir. Because often it's like looking to Formula One car, you might see a Formula One car only used by race drivers, but what they have gone into is something that often trick us down to the casual market. So many of the technologies that we speak today about found their ways into casual shoes, maybe in a stripped down version, maybe not as as so detailed as we need to have it for top athletes that are going for a gold medal. But the benefit, just to name one, of four motion, which is technology that reduces forces acting on your body and could eventually injure you. This goes down into an average price bound and everybody can profit from. The same for comfort materials. I mean, Climacool is in, in apparel, but you can find a ventilated shoe that takes down 50% more moisture than in a conventional shoe and if you've ever had hot soaking feet on a hot summer day I guarantee you find the differences between a climber cool shoe on your feet or a conventional shoe. Adidas uzsvēruši vairākus aspektus, par kuriem domā apau izstrādes laikā. Tādēļ iedusmojuši runājošajiem vīram pavaicājām, kas tad ir galvenās Adidas vērtības. The values of thing are defined by the comfort that you get. I mean you must always see first what sport am I into. 
A football player that plays for 90 minutes wants to stay dry, wants to stay comfortable, but he doesn't want to have um, a jersey maybe that, that's full and with, with soaking sweat that gets heavier during a game. The same for a runner, if you do distance running, you want to stay dry and comfortable and more so, you want to maintain your optimal body temperature. But I think even for a casual consumer who's not into the hard sports, wants to stay dry, comfortable and still looks good. I mean, nobody likes to have a garment that's full soaked with moisture. You want to stay dry, you want to have a lightweight product on your body and you want to feel comfortable for sure. Esmu apskatījuši Adidas laboratoriju, nedaudz iepazinuši produktus, tādēļ debesis ir jautājums. Vai Adidas ir kādā veidā atšķirs no konkurenta piedāvājuma? I mean, of course, we are fully aware what competitors are doing. And uh, I think in our case, it's certainly more so to not copy any, any rivals. Out there, we again and again try to identify what our athletes need. And when we invest a lot into our Adidas innovation team, there is experts from material science, biomechanical people, there is even medical communities work with us that tell us how can you avoid injuries, how can you enhance an athlete performance and how can you avoid injuries. And I think it's this combination that often um, gets out to make a product better. Tā, no esam nedaudz iepazinojuši Adidas aizkulises un jauno vēl vācu un startautiskiem ekspertiem gribas spēku un izturību, turpinot lietas iedrus, lai attīstītu un uzlabotu mums domātās drēbītes un apams.